Good evening and my warmest greetings to everyone associated with the Yeshiva Centre and its work. Most of us at one time or another in life need a shoulder to lean on, an ear willing to listen, a word of wisdom to point us to the right path ahead. For almost six decades, the Yeshiva Centre has given that support and guidance to Sydney's Jewish community and indeed the broader Sydney community. It is a place where faith and daily life are intertwined, where beliefs are lived out, where knowledge is prized, education valued and a philosophy of community service instilled, where the future spiritual leaders of Sydney's Jewish community are shaped, a place of outreach and chaplaincy. Yeshiva embodies the great Jewish value and tradition of charity. It casts a helping hand to all of our community, including chaplain services to our men and women who serve in our armed forces and to police and firefighters. I know the past year has been an exceptionally challenging one for the centre and all who care about its future. I also know how much is owed to the timely actions late last year of the Yeshiva Centre's longtime benefactor and friend and your host this evening, Harry O. Triguboff. And we know that Harry earlier this week marked a rather significant birthday, 80 years young. We send a warm muscle toff for continued fulfilment and success to Harry and to everyone associated with the Yeshiva Centre. May it be a year of peace, spiritual growth and service for everyone.